Hello, welcome to Cycling Tips, Dave here. Welcome to, well, a car park where you might be able to hear a bus rolling out because Team DSM are just heading off out to go to the team presentation for the 2022 start of the Tour de France. And well, they've left behind one of their new bikes, the latest Scott Foil RC, the team's aero bike. <laughs> Now you might have seen this if you kept an eagle eye out at a, a couple of recent races under the derriere of John Degenkob. It was all blacked out back then, all top secret, but Scott, by the time you see this video, will have announced it for real. So shall we delve into not just what John's using personally for the race, but also the tech and what's going on behind this new bike. So the new bike is, well, pretty much redesigned from the ground up because the UCI changed what you're allowed to do with an aero frame set back in 2020. Now the ratios for tube sizing is eight to one. So basically for every one millimeter wide, you're allowed to go eight millimeters deep. And Scott have taken advantage of that in many areas. As you can see, that down tube is a lot deeper than the previous model and so are the forks. The forks actually look maybe a little bit deeper than the current TT bike, but obviously there's a hell of a lot more to it than just that. Onto that rear end, yes. We've got drop stays here as well, like many current top tier bikes. The reason for this, Scott tells us, isn't for comfort, like many other brands are doing, but because there's less frontal area with them being lower down. Also, you'll notice if you look closely, them stays are slightly tilted in. As for that seat tube, well, they're not using the 8 to 1 ratio there, are they? It's not super deep. And the reason behind that is because when testing this bike, Scott found that the deeper they went with that tube, and once you put a rider on there, the more turbulent the air got. So obviously they've tried to optimize the size. That head tube is massive compared to the old model as well. So bars and stem have also been redesigned. They've taken cues from the Addix one piece bar and stem and tweaked them to be super aero. Yes, they're slightly thinner and there's a slight curve to them as well. As for the geometry, reach is slightly shorter, roughly about 10 millimeters shorter than the Addict, but stack is exactly the same. As for the numbers that Scott thrown about, about the improvements on this bike over the old model, well, they say it's 21% faster, 9% lighter, and 10% more comfortable. Now, comfort doesn't come from the frame itself in most parts, but from the seat post. Now, this seat post is actually the, shall we call it the race, super stiff seat post. But the model you, if you do go out and buy this, will come with is the more comfortable one. It is a two-piece seat post with the front and the rear working in harmony to give a bit of flex to it. We're told the reason the pros go for this super stiff, slightly more aero seat post is because, well, their backsides and their bodies are used to going out for 200 kilometers and not suffering too much from being uncomfortable. Right, shall we delve into what John is using? Now, DSM are one of the only teams that are actually sponsored by Shimano. Yes, there are many teams here that do use Shimano, but there's only about two or three teams that are actually sponsored by Shimano. The rest of them have to go out and buy the equipment. And that means, well, they get to use the latest 12 speed Durace Di2. John has got a massive 5644 chaining setup up front. Shimano also supply the wheels. In this case, we've got a bit of a mismatch pair. We've got the latest Durace C60s up front and the old version on the rear. These are tubular wheels. And in this case, we've got the Vittoria Corsa tubulars on there in a 26 millimeter. Keeping things comfy up front, or at least when he's on the drops, is the sync cross bar tape. And so John knows what sort of numbers he's putting out in them big sprints. He's got a Wahoo head unit matched to a Shimano power meter. So John can slow down now and again, I suppose. He needs decent brakes. And again, we've got the latest Durace ones with 40 rotors. 
Pedals also come from Shimano, in this case they're the Durace ones. Bottles and bottle cages are supplied by Elite. Now this bike is claimed to be 16 watts faster. There we have it, one of the many new bikes here at the Tour de France. Will we see John Sprinter victory on this one? I hope so, he's a nice fella after all, isn't he? Anyway, join the conversation, what do you think on this new model? Also, if you haven't already, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and as always, thanks for watching and enjoy the tour.